throughout this trial. You were, you've been inside throughout. You were inside for all of it today. Um, we've got a courtroom sketch of him on the stand because you, and Eric says he made the argument. He doesn't know anything about who, you know, what the accountants did, uh, whether people inflated, uh, despite obviously his role up at the time uh, at the Trump org. That could still be a problem for him, right? It could be a problem for him in multiple. But at the other hand, it also suggests that he's not really practicing due diligence. That's, in fact, part of the allegations. And the, um, the, the judge might make a credibility determination. And that's important in terms of if the, the judge's uh, determinations that he doesn't find some of the witnesses credible. That is. Where do you think, Eric, he's going to be back tomorrow, right? This, this almost had been delayed by a day, right? Because right. uh, Michael McCarty. Uh, there is at least one example of Don Jr. and some assets that are Trump's uh, three story penthouse at Trump Tower overstating and there's sort of, you know, there's poetic license in mm -hmm. real estate. $300 million for a penthouse uh, years ago, that, that's, that's not in that realm. No, it's not. It's an order of magnitude. You're good. <laughs> so uh, out of it. So. Well, very much. I appreciate it. But what else did you find? Yeah, so for years, uh, Johnson worked with this group called Exodus International on an anti-gay event aimed at teens. Now, Exodus was a leader uh, in what was called the ex-gay movement. We talked a little bit about it in that intro where they claimed that you could essentially uh